Hello students, welcome back to class. Today we're going to be reviewing a channel called Coco Melon. It has 116 million subscribers. That's a lot of little kids who are watching this content. So let's hope that this channel is teaching them properly. Let's have a look at what they are teaching these kids. Okay, hold on one second there. What do I see? Okay, we're talking about a sheep, first of all. Okay, we're talking about Baba black sheep, so let's hope that there's no discrimination here. We were hoping that they're gonna be nice to the sheep anytime that there's a sheep and not treating them like objects. It's okay, that's one thing. And um, one thing about this farm that strikes me right away that I find kind of odd is there, that farms like that, like this, rarely exist anymore. Big corporations have taken over and they have taken the land and they have these massive uh, farms where they keep the animals in tight confined quarters or crammed together and they are used as objects and not treated very well. So right away this is kind of an old-fashioned way of teaching kids about animals. You know old McDonald's farm that type of thing. It just doesn't exist anymore. By far, the vast amount of animals on this planet are used. They are eaten, they are worn, they are abused, and we must learn and, uh, how to teach kids better than this. So mm, I'm going to give them an X for this, but I'll give them a, a check mark because they're at least talking about animals, so that's good. Let's, let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, what's going on? All right, so we have a little kid here coming to do something to the sheep, and clearly this sheep is not happy and trying to get away. So this sheep ha knows what's going on. The sheep has clearly been abused in some way by this kid before, or is definitely not happy to see this child. So what has this child done? Let's give this an X again. Not too happy about the way this is going. <sighs> ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Okay, this is not okay. So the song is Baba Black Sheep, Have You Any Wool? And the sheep is clearly saying, um, no, I don't have any wool for you. The wool belongs to me. Leave me alone. Why are we having this scene here anyway? Three bags full? You have three bags full of wool? Um, no, this is not okay. This is exactly what I'm worried about. Three bags full. All right, so we got the sheep that's trying to get away. And the child is trying to stop the sheep. Sheep's not happy. The sheep is not consenting th to this. So let's put another X here. This is not a game that the sheep is playing. It's not a game of tag. One for the dame. One for the what? And one for the dame? What are you talking about? You're going to take the sheep's wool and you're just going to give it away to random people? Sheep's wool belongs on them. We need to stop breeding sheep into existence and breeding them in such a way that they, they have more and more and more wool just so we can steal it from them. And then there's this lie that people tell. They say, oh, we need to, to uh, shave the sheep because otherwise they'll be uncomfortable. No, what we need to do is stop breeding sheep to begin with. Stop creating animals just for the purpose of using them, taking from them, stealing from them, eating them, creating sadness from their, within their families by separating them, murdering them. One for the little boy who lives down the what? Why does the little boy who lives down the lane need to have some kind of wool from a sheep? How would you like it if somebody came and just started taking off your hair of your head without consent? I think you'd be running away too. Giving this another X. sheep is so scared that the poor the poor thing she runs into a ladder and and gets herself hurt trying to escape this is not okay either <laughs> um what's funny about that you just caused this harm to this sheep by chasing her and trying to do something to her that she doesn't want and when she has a bucket that falls on her and she's full of paint your first reaction is to laugh this is messed up. I'm not okay with this. We are not teaching kids the proper morals. No. All right, so far you have only one check mark and three and uh, seven X's. Yeah. <gasps> ba, ba, blue sheep, have you any wool? What has this? 
this child got in his hands? A lasso? A kind of a weapon with which to catch this innocent animal? No, another X. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three what are you doing? Four. Trying to catch the animal? The animal says no, shakes this away. How would you like it if somebody tried to lasso you and tried to pin you down and take your hair? Another X for Coco Melon. Coco Melon, so far you're not doing very good. I'm not impressed. Now the sheep has to try to stop the lasso with, with her hands because it's coming at her face. More attacks? Attacking animals is not okay. Leave animals the fuck alone. Boy who lives Again? Look at this sheep's face. Do you think that this sheep wants this to happen? No. The message is clear. I don't consent to this. I don't want this. Down the lane, Again? No. I guess this is how this is going to go then. This is just going to go on and on and on like this. Is that right? Blue sheep, have you any yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. So now, now the sheep is still running away. To, trying to get away from the lasso and from this child who is trying to hurt her that she runs into and bumps into a cow and falls into a bush now she's got now she's going to be injured again how would you like to be running and then just fall into a bush full of twigs that are jabbing into you another ex parents who show this ch this to children first of all i think this show should be banned but the reason and the reason for that is that kids are, are not being taught to look at this stuff with a critical eye. Now, it would be one thing if you have a parent who says, hey, let's watch this show, and you know, maybe the tune is fine, maybe, maybe the melody is fine, it's an old melody, but you must, as parents, t teach your children that speciesism is the first form of racism and that this is wrong. You must stop the show and say, uh-oh, that's not nice. Don't hurt the sheep. Uh-oh, don't make a lasso and try to catch animals. That's how parents must treat these kinds of shows. So let's have a look at what actually happens in the wool industry. They pin the animals down. They shave them so fast because all they care about is profits. So they slam them down and they shave them to the point where they're bleeding. They're not consenting to this. It's horrible. It's abusive. Did you see how many of them were lying there? What do you think's going on here? Do you think those sheep are just lying there out of their own free will? They are pinned down so that they can be shaved. How barbaric. horrible. What kind of an instrument does this man have? This might be mule sing what we're seeing here. In the industry, they, they cut the uh, wool around the bums of the baby of the lambs because they can get something, um, they can get different insects and flies in there that, that burrow in there and that hurt them. So rather than just not breeding these animals to begin with, they cut all of this uh, this fur around the edges and they cut the first layer of the skin off so they're left with a patch of exposed skin that is very tender to them. It hurts. It's wrong to do this. That's what they do to the sheep in the industry. Are you okay with this, moms and dads? Are you okay with hurting animals? Are you okay with teaching your kids that they, it's all right to hurt animals? to trap them, to chase them. I'm not okay with it. Let's look at that again. That's called mule thing. They're bleeding. No pain medication. 
if this was to happen to you, if they for some reason thought that they needed to do this to you, they would give you pain medication and probably sedate you. This is not okay. This is why we have such a messed up world right now. Because we teach kids that this type of thing is okay. Let's remind you again. Speciesism is the first form of racism. When we start to teach kids that animals are lesser than, that is how it goes up the ladder. You teach them that insects are not important. You teach them that, that rodents are not important. Then you teach them that, you teach them that bees are not important. You, you steal from the bees and you do this to animals. And oh, but cats and dogs, that's different, right? Why? It's not. This is all undercover footage, but it happens everywhere where there are sheep. Everywhere around the world where people use animals, where they have them for food, where they steal their fur, their feathers, their skin, animals are abused worldwide. We must stop this. And we must start at a young age to teach the kids the truth. <sighs> Slamming them down because it's a business for them because these workers are paid and the, uh, by the, maybe by the sheep that they shear, they have to do it so many per hour in order to get the money. There is no care for the animals. The animals do not have the kind of rights that you think that they do. I know it's hard to believe. I know you want to believe that this just are, is rare and that it happens just in one place. And that's why it's so important that you all watch this documentary called don'twatch.org. It will show you what happens everywhere around the world in all of the countries that you live in with all of the different animals. And this is why we must have a vegan world. We have a moral obligation to help these innocent animals. Punching them in the head because they won't lay still. Full of cuts. All right, so C Coco Melon has clearly failed. <sighs> Coco Melon, you must not show animals being treated this way. Parents who watch this show, make sure that you tell your kids. You stop the video often and you look at everything that they're doing. If you see any ingredients such as eggs in recipes that they are cooking, you see milk, you remind kids, we don't use eggs. We use an egg replacer. And you can find all of these things on Bosch.tv. You can find all kinds of recipes on Bosch.tv. Also, if you ever see in this show that they are eating animals, make sure you tell your kids, we don't eat animals. It's wrong to put them in school lunches. It's wrong to use them as ingredients. If you ever see any milk being shown in this show, either taken from a cow or poured from a carton, remind children that milk 
does not belong to us. We are not baby cows. Cow's milk is for baby cows. We drink soy milk or oat milk. That's what a civilized society does. I want to thank you for watching today. And unfortunately, um, I don't think that the show succeeded. Speciesism is the first form of racism. So let's make sure that this show changes. Either it be canceled or it changes. They must have vegan versions of this show. They must show families that are vegan and they must retract all of the other videos that they've put up there or write disclaimers on there like, we do not support this. Something like that has to be done. Ban Coco Melon. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Learn with me and share these videos. Make your own videos. Make sure you share the one that I just showed from PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. They're an organization who puts many people all around the world into positions where they film and they tell us what really goes on. It's vital that we know. When we know better, we can do better. Be vegan from now on. Coming up on the screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Please click on them. Look around my channel. There's all kinds of stuff here that could be of interest to you. Then join me. Be vegan and help me to save this planet for future generations. We need to tell kids the truth. Thanks for watching.